when I was in the world, man, my friend Darren, man, Darren Bork, I hope he doesn't, you know, get mad at me for saying this. Because it's not really bad, it's just the freaking truth. <clears throat> and, uh, anyways, <clears throat> Darren helped lead me to the Lord. Because <clears throat> I was in the New Age, dude. You know, I was into, um, reading books by the Ascended Masters of the Far East, which are really demons. You know? I was actually in contact with freaking demons, and I thought they were Ascended Masters, dude. I really did, and I would pray to them, and they'd answer my freaking prayers. Okay? They would. But they were really demons, and it, and it almost killed me. And uh, I was also into shamanism. You know, I was into uh, to sorcery, man, like uh, Carlos Castaneda and Don Juan and <clears throat> them freaking people. <clears throat> it almost killed me. It really did. So, um, anyways... Me and a bunch of my friends, man, we we were club junkies, man. We would go to the freaking club every weekend, dude. And uh, we loved to party. And, and we we also loved industrial music, really. I mean, we were industrial music freaking heads. Okay? We listened to freaking Ministry, Nine Inch Nails, Strip Kill Cult, uh, Lords of Acid, KMFDM. The most hardcore freaking industrial people you can freaking think of. I mean, that's the way we were. I mean, we just partied like that. <clears throat> and I was um, I was in unbelief. I didn't know. <clears throat> and I remember we were at my friend Darren's house. And he had these ministry posters on his wall. And it showed Al Jorgensen and the rest of the band, man. <clears throat> and... Um, he, it showed the picture of him, and all around it, it had, like, clocks and all this uh, stuff. And it had these three dice, it was 666. And to be really honest, man, I really thought that I didn't really believe in the devil. I did. I was into those books, man. I thought it was, um, I thought, I thought those dark spiritual powers were something else. I thought they were... I thought Ascended Masters were one thing. I thought dark spiritual shadow creatures were another thing. I mean, I got it from them books I was reading, dude, and I was practicing the crap. <clears throat> but uh, my friend Darren, man, we were talking about Al Jorgensen, man. And, uh, you know, I thought they were just making fun of, um, you know, of just like for shock value and stuff like that. You know, I, th I thought they were just some rebellious, didn't freaking give a crap, didn't believe in nothing type people. I, that's what I thought it was. <clears throat> and, um, and me and Darren were talking about Al Jorgensen, and Darren said, man, I said, dude, he looks freaked out, dude. He said, man, he's, po he, he's possessed. I said, possessed? I said, you really believe in that, man? He said, yeah. And so we started talking about Christianity, dude. <clears throat> and long story short, we wound up going to his uh, dad's Baptist church in, uh, outside of De Quincey, uh, out in the country. I think it was Western Heights or Eastern Heights or something like that. And so um, <clears throat> so, um, you know, I'll sit through the church service. And man, I, I'm not trying to hate on nobody, dude, but that freaking mess was dead and it was freaking boring. It was. I was like, I was I was searching for truth, dude. I really was. And so, after the service, you know, me and Darren ate with his dad and the rest of his family. <clears throat> and uh, his, his two brothers were there, man, Tony and uh, his littlest brother. And that's when they were little teenagers. And now Tony is the um, head pastor of uh, Water's Edge Church, man. Water, Water Water's Edge Gathering. You know, it's a big church here in Lake Charles. It's kind of ironic. <clears throat> but anyways, we, uh, so he said, man, you want to talk with my dad, dude? He could pray for you if you really want to get saved. I was like, yeah, dude. 
I mean, I need something, man. I'm, I'm tired of living like this. I'm a freaking duck. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a drug head. I'm empty. I feel horrible. I have no self-worth. You know, I'm addicted and bound by so many freaking things. It's unreal. And I'm afraid I'm about to die. I just, I, I think my life is about to be over with. And I'm afraid. <clears throat> so, um, I went into the pastor's study with his dad. And, you know, I, I totally respect his dad, too. I ain't saying nothing against his dad whatsoever. As a human being. Good as go. But, <clears throat> when it came time to pray... For salvation, I said the sinner's prayer, and I didn't feel nothing. It was, it was, there was nothing there, dude, at all. When I left his his office, I was the same person I always was. And I, so I went to the bar, man, that weekend, and got drunk and high out of my freaking head, you know, and, and, and can't even remember what all the freaking immoral crap I did, you know what I'm saying? And, um,. <clears throat> so I knew it wasn't it, man. And then I had a experience where I overdosed in Austin, Texas. And I remember, man, I was so messed up on drugs to where I actually got on top of a um store uh, storage building uh facility where they have a row of storage buildings. I was on the roof of that, dude. And I I was I was so high and paranoid, dude. I had freaking these voices telling me, dude, that the the world was about to end, dude. And I had to jump through a freaking time portal. That's how screwed up my freaking brain was. I I thought I had to jump into a wormhole to escape destruction in this dimension. You know, and the books those books talk about crazy weird crap like that too. New Age has all kinds of weird crap like that. So. <clears throat> Long story short, man, I jumped off that freaking building like freaking Superman, dude. I did, man. I slammed my face into a freaking um, 10, 12 foot tall hurricane fence with barbed wire on top of it. I mean, face first, dude. They had glasses like this, man. They smashed my glasses. Plastic cut my eye open, dude. I, I, I hit the ground, man. I climbed over that freaking fence. I felt like I was a I, I felt like I was a sack of freaking bricks, dude, that just crumbled. And I laid there, man. I was like, dude, I'm dead. This is it. And I was afraid. And at that exact second, I could feel them creatures, man. I thought it was a master of the Far East, but it wasn't. I thought it was the little creatures you had to get to get quickening power to stay in that higher level of spiritual dimension that Don Juan did and Carlos Castaneda talked about. But it, it wasn't some little creatures, man. It was a freaking devil and demons. It was. Lying, game playing, cruel, sadistic little freaking turds. Okay? And, um, they, um, <coughs> they, um, they were laughing at me. I mean, it was so strong that impression they were putting on me. They were laughing at me, man. If I if I could see them, they would have been slapping their freaking knee, you know, laughing. Couldn't control it because they had killed me and they had deceived me and I was dead. Well, I thought I was dying. And 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 they got me. They were so freaking happy and laughing. It was such a big prank a big joke I mean they were rolling laughing at me because I believed them and I they thought I was dead really I thought I was too man I had so much drugs in my system stay tuned <laughs>